Welcome back to the channel. So the new weekly raises are here, and uh, yeah, let's check out and uh, see what's see what's new. See if we got any good races for the Forza GT class. All right, so we got the Mazda Miata Spec Series. Let's check out the tracks. Le Mans could be interesting with uh, with the Miatas. Hakone, Spa, nice. Dang, there's a whole bunch of tracks for uh, for this spec. All right, let's check out the Forza GT. Well, it looks like unfortunately we got some uh, short races this week. No strategy. Got Grand Oak, Cataluna, Magello, Maple Valley, Spa, Grand Oak. Yeah, it's unfortunate. How do I, I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like the Forza GT class should at least have one pit stop. Or else, I mean, there's just no strategy. I throw on mediums and just go all out. There are some, uh, there are some rain races, but I don't know. How do you guys feel about that? I feel like the Forza GT class should at least have one pit stop. Yeah, I was hoping to talk some strategy and stuff, but there isn't one. Throw on mediums, go all out, unless it's a rain race. Let's check out the open events, R class and B class. The R class has some good tracks. Yeah, the Forza GT class is pretty under, uh, pretty underwhelming this week. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. And to everyone who commented in the last video saying that the R8 is OP, I apologize for using it. Okay, I didn't know that it was that OP. I haven't played this game in a few months, so uh, this weekend we're going to be testing out the Viper. So, with the uh, with the short races this week, it's kind of unfortunate, but um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the Forza D GT class and some of the races not having a pit stop. Alright, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys on the track.